The humid air hung heavy, thick with the scent of jasmine and industry. Shenzhen throbbed around us, a living testament to China's economic miracle. But here, in this serene tea room, the chaos of the city seemed to fade away. It was as if the very air pressure changed as Tang Weijin entered the room. He moved with a quiet confidence, his gaze sharp and intelligent behind rimless spectacles. His handshake was firm, his smile warm and disarming. This was Tang Weijin, the man they called the Chinese Buffet, a legend in the world of finance. He had agreed to an audience, a glimpse into the mind that had reshaped the landscape of global investing. Over cups of steaming green tea, he began to tell his story. A story of ambition and perseverance. A story of bridging cultures and defying expectations. A story, ultimately, of success beyond measure. But not the kind of success measured solely in yuan or dollars. Tang Weijin's journey began far from the gleaming towers of Shenzhen. He was born in Hunan, a province in south-central China known for its lush landscapes and fiery cuisine. His family, like many in rural China, were farmers. Life was simple, a tapestry woven with the rhythms of the earth and the seasons. Education was my escape, my ticket to a different life. I excelled in school, my mind a sponge, soaking up knowledge with an insatiable thirst. I devoured books on history, philosophy, and science. I saw a world beyond the rice paddies, a world ripe with possibility. He earned a place at one of China's top universities, leaving behind the familiar comfort of his village for the bustling energy of the city. It was a period of immense growth, not just academically, but personally. He was exposed to new ideas, new ways of thinking. He embraced the challenge, his ambition fueled by an unwavering belief in his own potential. Tang Weijin is a fascinating study in contrasts. A man equally at ease quoting Confucius and Warren Buffett, he embodies the fusion of East and West, a bridge between ancient wisdom and modern financial thought. His upbringing instilled in him the values of hard work, humility and perseverance. Yet, my time studying Western economics and finance at university opened my eyes to a different perspective. I saw the power of free markets, the potential for wealth creation, and the importance of innovation. I didn't see these as opposing forces, but rather as complementary aspects of a larger truth. This unique duality, this ability to see the world through multiple lenses became his greatest strength. It allowed him to navigate the complexities of global finance with a rare insight. He understood the nuances of both Eastern and Western cultures, the subtle cues and unspoken rules that often dictate success in the world of high finance. The world of finance in the 1990s was a closed club, a boys' club. Tang Weijin, a young man from rural China, was an outsider. He didn't have the family connections, the prestigious internships, or the Ivy League pedigree. What I did have was a sharp mind, an unwavering work ethic, and a fundamentally different way of looking at the markets. I saw opportunity where others saw only risk. I challenged conventional wisdom, questioning the assumptions that underpinned traditional investment strategies. I dove deep into data, looking for patterns and anomalies that others missed. I wasn't afraid to be different, to go against the grain. His approach was unorthodox, even radical. He rejected the short-term thinking that drove many investors, focusing instead on long-term value creation. He invested in companies that others overlooked, companies with strong fundamentals and a clear vision for the future. He was a contrarian, a disruptor, and his success spoke for itself.